farmer and I'm going to show you a little bit about my miniature propagation greenhouse. It's a little lean-to structure that a friend gave to me, an old aluminum frame that hadn't been used for a while. And here's a video about how we put it back together for this farm and got things going for all of our seedling production for this season. In this video, I'm going to go through some of the scenes that I shot along the way to show you some of what happened, not everything, and um, how we put it together and how it's set up in here, and then do another video about these heated propagation tables that I made too. Hope you enjoy. So to prepare the site for the greenhouse, I wanted to make sure it was more level than it was already. So we use the, the blade on the tractor to level it out more or less and then tamped it down with the CRV. Um, it was a little bit wet though, so it didn't really compact all that well. But after that, I put down a layer of cardboard mulch, um, which was just another effort to stop the weeds and vines from trying to invade the greenhouse later. But then the landscape fabric will do more good as far as that's concerned. Um, so we laid that down and then um, squared it up and pounded in the ground posts, got the bows up and attached to the building um, through little pieces of wood and then started putting on the baseboard and the hip board. Um, and after that, wiggle wire channel went up and I um, put the plastic on. I was too anxious um, to get it up but I didn't wait for Josh. So all these videos are me um, doing it on my own, which probably was not the best idea because it's very easy to poke plastic or lose control of it if you are doing it alone. So not advised, but I got it up and then installed the ventilation and the fan and Josh helped me get it all wired up for everything that's controlled um, by electricity within the space and then after that I built a little cedar or no this is Douglas fir uh, bench top for half of the greenhouse and this space is 10 foot by 16 and I decided to put the, the door in the center more or less of this 10 foot span so that over this direction I can put the bulk of my plants and this will be the root zone heated area. I'll have this half controlled by one thermostat and this half controlled by another thermostat and then this bench space over here will be unheated. Um, there's hoops here and I can cover with road cover if it gets um, scary cold temperatures at night um, but I thought that would be good because from this standing position I can just about reach that side um, with some extra stretching and then over here it'll be nice to have a, a different working height to have plants up a little higher and say things that don't need to be as warm at the root zone or maybe this will be a little bit shady depending on the time of year more hours in the day um, sort of just gives me a few different zones to work with within the space. Then in the greenhouse is pretty key. We have a fan on this side, which I unplugged for the video, um, but it has its own thermostat here and then plugs in to this outlet. And then on the outside of that fan is a louver and those louvers get pushed open when the fan is running. This one is not a greenhouse fan, it's an attic fan, which probably isn't the best. 120 volt, 3.4 amps. Not sure how many CFM, but comparable sized ones that I was looking at online seemed like the right amount for this size space. And then what happens is when that fan kicks on, it's drawing in air from this vent over here. And this vent is also on, a, on an automatic opener. So it's on a univent and that opens at 
at about 70 degrees and then shuts back down once the temperatures dip again. If with that fan going and that vent open, it's still too hot in here, then what I have to do is open the door on this side and that'll pull the cold air or the cooler air across the greenhouse and exhaust it out the vent. Um, it's actually gotten really darn hot in here with no heat at all. So it is a concern of overheating the plants, especially with something like lettuce, which I'm going to be growing a lot of. It doesn't want to be too hot. So different ways to ventilate and cool the plants down, whether it be venting or irrigating or shading um, will be important throughout the season and it'll change as well throughout the season. I have a little um, growing cart here which might be handy for uh, potting things up on or rolling them out, stacking up trays as I'm seeding them and then tucking it away later. Um, anything on wheels really makes me happy. And, um, and I think what I should do next is show you all about these heated propagation benches because that's really the hallmark of what I'm putting together here.